Hello everyone, welcome back to Papli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message to Facebook lead ads leads using AI Sensei within six minutes. So I'm an owner of a digital marketing agency, and this is my page that I've created on my Facebook page. And with the help of this page, I'm promoting my Facebook lead ads. I want that as soon as a new lead is going to be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically towards the lead, I want to send a WhatsApp message. In order to create this automation, we are going to be using Public Connect. Okay, I've already logged into my Public Connect account, and I have created a work workflow with the help of it okay and i've created this workflow in the workflow you can see there are two windows in front of you one says trigger other says action trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because the process depends on these two concepts over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this that means that action is a response towards our trigger okay i've already selected my trigger application and the event for the trigger application i've selected it as facebook lead ads into the trigger event i've selected it as new lead instant okay as whenever a new lead is going to be generated with the help of facebook lead ads automatically instantly public and it should capture the response okay and also i've selected my action application and the event as well for the action application i've selected it as whatsapp by asnc and for the action event i've selected it as send template message as with the help of whatsapp by asnc i've created a template message that i'm going to be sending as messages to all the leads that are generated with the help of facebook lead ads okay so that is why i've selected my action application and the event as whatsapp by asnc and send template message okay now what we're going to do is we're going to create a connection between facebook lead ads and public in it first we're going to complete our trigger step right over here okay after selecting the application and the event i'm going to click on this connect button a window is going to appear in front of you on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection after that click on connect with facebook lead ads as you can see that successfully authorized facebook lead ads with public connect after setting up the connection it is asking for us to select the page and the lead gen form so the page over here i've created a page in the name of digital dynamics so i'm going to select my page as digital dynamics and for the form i've created a form in the name of digital dynamics lead form so i'm going to select this form right over here okay after selecting the page and the lead gen form over here you can see it says save and send test request or click on this button right over here as you go to do that it is saying waiting for webhook response so now in order to check whether facebook lead ads is connected to public connect or not what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate a test lead and for generating the test lead i'm going to open the metas lead ad testing tool this metas lead ad testing tool and this is the lead gen form that i've created so with the help of this form the leads are going to be generated i've already filled in all the required details of this form first name as smart last name as user email as smart user at the rate publicroots.com with a dummy mobile number after that after filling the details i'm going to click on this continue button and on submit to do the test submission as you can see it says your test lead has been sent this means the lead has now been generated i'm going to open my workflow and scroll down you can see right over here public net has captured the response of the test lead being generated first name as smart last name as user email as smart user at the rate public use.com with a dummy mobile number with all the other details as we have captured the response this means our trigger setup is now been done as the trigger setup is done now we have to set up our action step completely and as i've already selected my action application and the event we are going to connect it with public connect click on this connect button after doing that you can see a window is going to appear in front of you on which you can add new connection or else you can select the existing connection after that you can see right over here it is asking for the api key with the help of this api key we're going to create connection between whatsapp by asnc and public connect in order to have the api key go to the ai snc account log into it you can see from the left side of the panel it says manage go to it and click on this api key button copy this key from here this is the api key and paste it right over here and then click on the save button as you can see whatsapp by asnc is now been connected to public connect after connect it is asking for the campaign name in order to send the template that you have created using asnc as a message to the customers to the leads that are generated we have to create the campaign of that template message that we have created so i've already created a campaign in my asnc account in the name of digital dynamics and this is the campaign that i've created for this template message that i've created you can see right over here so now what i'm going to do is for the name of the campaign i've given it as digital dynamics so i'm going to copy this name from here and paste it right over here after pasting the campaign name that you have given to your campaign you have to enter that campaign name right over here after that it is asking for the mobile number to whom we want to send a whatsapp message to i want to send this whatsapp message to the lead that is generated with the help of facebook lead ads so for the mobile number over here i'm going to map the data what is mapping mapping means inserting data from the previous step so i'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow this was the previous step you can see right away facebook lead ads new lead instant i'm going to click on it this was the same response in the response it received the mobile number of our lead so i'm going to select the data from my previous response as i selected data from my previous response the data is mapped and as the data is mapped it is dynamic okay it will be updated whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step okay after mapping the data of the mobile number it is asking for the username the name of the user to whom we want to send the campaign to i want to send it to my lead so i'm going to map the data of the name of my lead right over here it is asking for the source and the tags i do not require the field so i'm going to skip the part for the template parameter field 
this is the field in which we have to enter the value of the variable that we have created in the template that we have created using AI Sensei. So I've created a variable in this template right over. I've created a single variable for the leads name you can see right over here. In place of this variable, I want to enter the value of the leads name. So now what I'm going to do is in place of this template parameter field, I'm going to map the data of the leads name right over here. As for the variable, I want the value of the leads name. Okay. After that, it is asking for the attributes URL in the file name. I do not require the field. So I'm going to skip the part and then I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I've done that, you can see right away, we've received a response. The success comes as true. This is a positive response. So now I'm going to open our WhatsApp and check whether I've received a WhatsApp message or not. And you can see right away on my WhatsApp, I've received a new message. It says, hello, smart user. This was the name of the lead. And this is a template message that we have created using ASNC. It's been forwarded as a message on WhatsApp. So as we have received the message successfully, this means that we successfully created a connection between Facebook lead ads and WhatsApp by ASNC with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is how you create this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect between Facebook lead ads and WhatsApp by ASNC in order to send messages to the new leads that are generated with the help of Facebook lead ads. So this was it for this video. Thank you for watching. Not just with these applications, you can create automation between multiple other applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any questions, you can contact us on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can check the queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video.